Welcome to the Getting Started video for RPT Software's Donation Management Software. Okay, let's take a look at campaigns and events. Let's open a campaign. So as you can see on the campaign we let you track the basics, the start date, end date, the goal of the campaign, costs associated with the campaign, and as you can see for this campaign we have 401 donations. Um, we're about halfway to our goal. You can easily see, hey here's your 401 donations. You could open any one of those as well as here's the associated events to the campaign. You can easily generate a quick report to show everything about that campaign and that's about it. Let's look at an event. Again, we have basic event functionality. An event can be associated with a campaign or it could be standalone. Uh, you have start dates, goals, costs, uh, same type of thing. Here's all the donations that were associated with that event, as well as here's all the participants for that event. Hope that makes sense. Uh, so this video doesn't take too long. We're going to show you a couple areas very quickly. Opportunities. An opportunity is a potential sale that you're trying to work to, uh, to actually sell it to the customer. Companies. Let's take a look at a company screen. Pretty standard. Shows related contacts, related invoices. Invoices. Pretty standard. Employees. Employees are people that work at your organization. You can see your related activities, your related opportunities. Let's take a look at the setup options. This is where you can maintain all the different drop downs throughout the program. If you want to buy the program, this is where you enter your registration code. Once you enter your registration code, you can easily remove all the sample data to start with a blank database. This is where you would set up your email server. Uh, you can easily back up the database. I'll show you that. That just backed up our entire database. You can also hide or show areas. Uh, so as an example, let's say you, you don't care about opportunities and you don't do invoicing. As you can see, it took opportunities and invoices off the ribbon, as well as oops, if you're in a contact, you won't see related opportunities. So it kind of just hides that to make the program simpler. Email and letters is found various places throughout the program. On the ribbon, you can go to the email section. This is where you would send uh, an email out to people on a mailing list, or you can select various people to send the email out. Letters works a similar way to send letters out to people on a mailing list, or select people individually. Uh, you also can send an email or letter to your current list of contacts, as well as from a typical contact screen you can send an email or a letter and from a donation screen you can send an email or a letter and a pledge you can send an email or a letter. To see email and letter creation in detail please watch our other video on, on emails and letters. Now we're going to quickly show you filtering and reporting. Let's, let's make a quick filter. Give it a name. And 
As you can see, this is the type of criteria you can use in your filter. Donation history, pledge history. So let's actually make our filter people that live in Pennsylvania. 338 of those. As well as grave gave more than a thousand dollars. It gets it down to two people. You can look at those two people. You can see this person gave one thousand one hundred dollars. And this person gave about the same. You can save that filter. And then from any list, you can use that filter to then show you those two people. I could go to donations and use that same filter. And there's the seven seven donations for the the two people that gave over a thousand dollars that live in PA. Filters you will need to use filters when you get to reports. Uh, let's just quickly show you there's there's various types of reports. Um, so let's say we want to do a donation analysis report using our sample filter. Well that's probably not a good filter you to use but so there you can see the to uh, top ten donors were those two and and that let's let's switch that let's use a different filter let's use the people that donated in the last ninety days and there you can see out of the people that donated in the last ninety days this is how much was collected those are our top ten donors and there's different types of analysis and there's lots of different types of reporting and every report has various options as well as when you're on each screen almost every detail screen has a report button from contacts it will default to that particular contact so you can easily run a contact report on that contact as well as almost every other screen. So if, let's say I'm looking at a campaign, I can easily run a report on that campaign and it'll print out everything about that campaign. If you want to see more information about filtering and reporting, please watch our other video.